everyone, Fast Daddy here. So this video is gonna be about how to break in new tires. So the first question is, why do you have to break them in? So come over here and check this out. So I just got uh, new tires on the bike yesterday. They're, um, so they're Anarchy 3s. These tires came stock on the bike when I first bought them. And uh, they're like 90% street, 10% dirt. But uh, I, I bought this bike on a Tuesday with these tires and I went to the track on Saturday with the tires. So. Uh, I didn't think they were pretty good at first because that was my that was my only experience my first time with these tires and then I switched to other tires and I've been through so many tires within the last uh, ever since I had this bike when I finally went back to these um, for the second time this is my third time having these when I finally went back the second time I knew how much grip they had because I had other off-road tires that didn't have much grip so I went back to a more street tire they had way more so anyways you have to break in new tires because you see once you get brand new tires they're slick they have like a film across the whole tire that you use for packaging or whatever, and it's slick. Like some people say, I've heard before, and uh, whether it's true or not, it's a good analogy. If you have brand new tires, think about if you're riding in the rain, like they're more slippery. So you wanna break them in in such a way to where you kinda get that film crap off of there, so that when you ride, you're not just your tires aren't just gonna slip out. I doubt that would actually happen if you're a pretty good rider, but that's the idea of the video. <clears throat> So one thing I usually do, <clears throat> once I go to break in new tires, once I leave the dealership or wherever I'm at, usually I just take off, I go outside, I just leave the dealership, and I just start slowly weaving at 20 miles per hour, very slowly, so I lean a little bit, and I gradually start leaning more and more and more, because the more I lean, the more to the edge of the tire I'll be, right? Just to kind of slowly work it in. And I do that for a little bit, I just ride very easily, I keep the bike upright as possible until I get to a big parking lot to break them in. So keep in mind, overall, let's think about bigger picture. When you're riding fast on any motorcycle, the idea is to lean the bike just enough to make the corner, not excessively, right? If I could get through a corner, only lean this much, that's way better and safer than leaning this much for a lot of reasons, right? The suspension, the ground clearance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But for low speed turning, the idea is to lean the bike very, very far to make a really sharp turn. So a lot of times when people are practicing my Moto Jitsu drills and they can't do blue belt for some reason or whatever they're doing, it's because their bike is straight up and down. They're just trying to turn the handlebars, but they're not leaning. So when you're doing low speed maneuvers, you got to lean the bike over really, really, really far. And that's the point. And then doing that, you get really to the edge of the tire way more than you ever would going faster. So whenever I'm doing low speed turning, I'm leaning the bike as far as I can. So almost my foot pegs are touching the ground but I would never lean the bike that far out on the public roads because the idea is to not lean it that far. You see what I'm saying? So the higher speed, lean a little bit. Low speed, lean a lot. So to break in new tires, the easiest thing to do is do low speed maneuvers. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, and I purposely did not do any weaving. So I left the dealership, I went home, and then from home I went here, and I purposely try to keep the bike upright as much as possible. And as you can see with the front tire, this is all the tire I've used so far, just maybe, one, maybe three inches of tread. That's all I've used just to get the bike home and to get it here. Usually it'd be a little bit more. And the same thing with the back. I just barely, barely try to lean the bike as tiny bit as possible. So I'm only using barely this much. And then you'll, we'll do the same thing. So I'm gonna jump on the bike. I'll do some low speed maneuvers, lean the bike as far as I can, nice and slowly doing that. And again, while doing that, the purpose is to lean the bike all the way over, way more than you normally would while riding faster because you want to break them in. You want to get the slickness off the tires, so just do low speed maneuvers. And of course, if they're slick and they are slippery, you're not going to be going fast doing this, and that's the idea. It's a big, safe environment. In a parking lot, get some pretty good grip, lean the bike really, really far, doing low speed maneuver practicing anyway, and the tires will be broken in. And of course, once that happens, you lean the bike really far, and then usually just to see how they feel, I, you know, I do some acceleration, I do some braking, I start doing some quick stops, because a lot of times I bought new tires before I knew much of anything. I bought new tires and I'm like, I need to go back to the dealership. They jacked up my bike because I didn't realize maybe I had round shaped tires and now I put on a tire that's more of a profile like this, like a V shape. I didn't know there was two main profiles of tires. So when you buy new tires, you might think the steering is now jacked up or they, or they did something wrong with your bike. You may have just went from a V to a round or vice versa without you knowing it. So already I could tell with these tires, just from the little ride I did, the other tires I had were the Michelin Pilot Road 4s and they were kind of more V-shaped. They're a little bit more pointy at the top so it, it turned in a little quicker. 
but these tires are a little bit more flat so they're not so they're more round more consistent so it's a little bit slower turning very predictable very stable now thinking about the profile of the tires just a little sad a side note if your bike is really twitchy or if you feel like it tips in very fast you might have a say you have a sport bike and, and a v-shaped tire right that bike will turn in very very quickly you could kind of smooth out your ride and smooth out the quickness at which it turns by getting a more round shaped tire and vice versa if you have a cruiser bike and it's really hard to if you feel like it's very difficult to lean into it it's very slow and heavy you could change your tires if they make them to more of a v-shape to kind of quicken that up so the profile makes a big difference so if you think the bike is jacked up for some reason you may have just switched your profile without knowing it so just keep that in mind little side note all right so i'm gonna jump on the bike and uh, this is what I do all the time to break in new tires. And then after I'm done with this, then I'm not gonna lean the bike anywhere near the, this far of what I'm about to do on the public roads when I'm out riding. But once I'm done with this, they're good. I'm not saying I'll go take a corner at 90 miles power full throttle. I mean, that's insane. I'll slowly build up to it, but I'll probably go on uh, maybe a 40, 50 mile ride through the twisties and just kind of take it easy and gradually increase my speed, gradually lean a little bit more, and uh, they'll be good. And keep in mind, I've already had these tires twice. I had them when they first came on the bike, had a bunch of other tires, and I bought them again, a bunch of other tires, and now I'm back for the third time. So I know the capabilities, I know they grip really well, um, so that's something to keep in mind additionally, right? Alright,
So if you come over and check it out, before I only had three inches of barely used tire. Now if you look, I am completely to the edge of the tire of my tires now. I am all the way down to the extreme edge. And that's the point. Every bit of my tire, except for what, a half a millimeter or whatever, has been on the ground going in circles like that. So I just scrubbed off, I broke in the new tires so there's no more slickness. So let's look at the back tire. The back tire, there's about a what? So if you look at the arrow, that just shows the direction of travel. So the back tire, I have maybe a half inch still to go to lean, um, where I can still scrub in that little new part. But I'm never gonna lean that far out on the public roads. I'd have to be on the track or something going really fast. And I don't even think my foot pegs are scraping yet. So I can still lean the bike more, get the foot pegs to scrape on the ground. Cause I know the bike is not gonna tip over just cause the foot peg touches the ground. And I can still get all the way down even lower I almost knocked myself out. Good thing I got my helmet on. So I can lean the bike even lower to scrub in that last little bit right there. But I'm just going to keep on doing this um, for probably another 10 minutes or so. I'll keep on leaning, let the tires warm up, a little bit more grip, lean the bike, lean the bike till my foot pegs are scraping and the tires are broken in. No more unused portion of the tires. Um, so the slickness will go away. And that's all you have to do. So if you, it's like two birds and one stone. You buy new tires, right? You go to a parking lot somewhere, you do some weaving, you go to a parking lot, practice moto jitsu, try to go inside a 20 foot circle or try to do figure eights. So you're practicing and you're breaking in new tires. Two birds, one stone. So why not? So there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, don't forget to hit subscribe, share with your friends. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.